Tonight, uh, let's talk to Laura in Lincoln. Uh, Laura, you're on Kerrang. I'm sure you agree with all of the thoughts of the previous caller, uh, but you've, you've got some opinions on Amy's tattoo. Let's hear it, Laura. Right, OK. For starters, there is nothing wrong with women having tattoos. I have ten myself, and if she thinks that she wants to get a tattoo, go for it. No, don't encourage her. I am going to encourage her, because you're telling people with this whole drugs thing, right, because I'm sort of linking the two, because I'm... Yeah using my intelligence. Hey, that's good. That, we like that. That, that people should, if they're in the public eye, they should set an example. And if she wants to get a tattoo and be herself, then there is nothing wrong with that. That's, that's self-expression. And if it means getting tattoos, then so be it. Okay, let me put let me put a counter-argument to this. It's a, it's a new counter-argument that I've yet to try on Amy, that I may try in the future if this goes well, me and you talking about it. If I win the argument, this is the argument I'll use when I talk to her about it in the future. Right. Seven years from now, yeah. every single atom of your body, every single atom of your body, of your brain, everything about you, seven years from now, all of those, those atoms and molecules will be different because your, bo your body's always replacing itself. So when you eat food, obviously, the packet of crisps you ate earlier on today will become part of your body over the next few days uh, and so on. And, that, and that's a constant process, right? Correct. In seven years, you will be a different person, right? So what you're doing is when you, when you put a tattoo on yourself, you're stopping you, yourself from being yourself in the future. You're stopping that change from happening. Well, then you make sure that you get a tattoo that you're going to enjoy in seven years or ten years or 15 or 20. I have tattoos I got when I was younger and I still look at them now and I still enjoy them as much now as I did when I got them when I was 18. But they restrict you from being change-able. Now, I'm of the opinion that every, everybody should be change-able. And what I mean by that is the universe tomorrow will be a different universe to the one it is today day and the day after that and so on the universe is always changing and so you need to allow yourself to be change able uh, and you're not changeable if you've got tattoos on yourself you're restricting yourself you're linking yourself to the past you're not though seriously if you're getting a tattoo to remind yourself of something that you've done that's so great and whatever i myself have my children mm -hmm. and their dates of birth on my arm uh -huh. i love them tattoos because they are my children uh -huh. It's not something I'm going to change my mind with. I got one today, actually. I got my 10th tattoo today. I'm going to look at that in seven years and thought, wow, I got that whenever. It still looks as good today as it did then. And I'm, yeah, I may be a different person, but just because I've got a tattoo, that's not going to affect my way of thinking. And here's what I think, right? I think that a lot of people, uh, they drive, they, they, they live their lives and they allow their lives to be dictated by what happened to them in the past rather than by what they want to achieve in the future. And that's like driving a car and using only the rear view mirror uh, to drive around. And how many people have you spoken to and you'll say to them, well, you know, why are you such an arse? Why are you taking drugs and hit hitting people? Oh, I had a bad childhood. Oh, I had this. Oh, I had that. It's everyone that's else's fault. That's an excuse for a bad person. Exactly. That's not, nothing to do with a tattoo. No, it has. And here's how. Because can have positive effects as much as negatives. It, I went through a load of stuff when I was younger. I got tattoos to commemorate them. I survived and I did this and I did that because I'm a survivor. Not because I had a bad childhood, not because I had something else, but because I was a survivor. That's why I've got certain tattoos. And I can look at them and think, yeah, I'm a survivor. That's why I got that tattoo. Just because I've got a tattoo doesn't mean that I'm going to change and I'm going to do this and I'm going to do that. But now it's you're forever linked to the past. That's good. That makes you human. How could that not be a good thing? Everyone should have a past and enjoy their past, whether it's good or bad, and having a reminder of it just makes you a stronger person. I like the idea that I'm entirely free from the past. I can move on, I can change, I can do whatever I want, whereas you're not. I am completely free of my past. This is a thing. Just because I've got a tattoo of it doesn't mean I'm going to be haunted by it or the anything. The tattoo you had today you'll never be free of. Good. I like it. It's an absolutely fabulous tattoo. And... You so what if in 10 years it doesn't look so good? It's still a reminder that, yeah, on that day I went and did this, I enjoyed myself, I had a thoroughly good day, and if now you, I've got this to show for it. If you didn't like your tattoo... I know people who don't like their tattoos, but they would never, ever have said to me, I wish I'd never got it. Really? Really. 
every single person I know, not one of them regrets having that tattoos. Do you know what, Laura? You're a brilliant call. Thanks for calling the show. Laura in Lincoln. How about that? She argued a point well. I quite like that new argument I've discovered, though. Let's take another call. Uh, let's talk to uh, Steve 